just have to go with your instinct. I mean, that's what I've always done, and it has served me. become an actress? Um, you know, a real um, lack of skill to do anything else. Honestly, that's what it comes down to. It was either acting or um, being a dental hygienist because I come from a family with really good teeth and I felt I should give back, you know. Um, but here I am. certainly um, believed in doing that which you love and never talking unless you have something to say that people don't already know and that's that's pretty good inspiration I think Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I would think I was in a moment of shock and panic and glee combined. Why? Because I was almost late for this gig, so... <laughs> We went through a lot of people, but uh, she was ideal because she could do it all. She could make you feel sorry for her. She could play uh, a, a character that was not lovable on the outset, and uh, she won you over. I've ever been asked to play and and the most complicated interesting part I've ever had to play
trying to shepherd these three small human beings into being really great human beings. What are some things or life lessons that you've learned along the way that you might want to pass on to other women? Oh, good Lord. I don't know. Not to be afraid of 30 and to be less afraid of 40 <laughs> and that butts fall. <laughs> to be this important figure in like you know the media and to be an ally and just like the way that she talked about how like LGBTQ issues like impact her children and like her as a mother like that that really stuck out to me. through the day as a mother if my kids didn't turn to me at some point and say oh, I love your earrings that's all any of us need is the tiniest bit of encouragement